Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with another Rupan episode and today I'm going to react to the TV special uh, Rupan 3 Island of Assassins and I can see that this has another name. It's also called Walter P38. Um, okay, so yeah, so I'm going to check this out. I have no idea what this is about but I'm, I'm kind of curious as to why this show has two names i'm sure we'll get like you know i'll understand when i start watching uh the video so yeah let's see what this is about i've heard that this is like you know from the comments i've heard that this is quite dark or something so yeah i'm, I'm kind of looking forward to it to see how this is what this is about so yeah so as i like you know as i said i'm, I'm going to do it like this one day i'm going to do one of the tv specials and then the next day i'm going to do the movie and when the movie and the tv specials uh and like the uh good tv the like you know the tv specials which are worth watching out when they end i'm going to start part four so yeah anyway so without further ado let's get started let's start uh rupan 3 island of assassins so i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started all right so here's the countdown three two one go Okay, the party is going on. Oh. oh, a birthday party, all right. Hmm. There's a lot of security, so I'm guessing that guy is someone, some kind of a big shot. Oh. Is this Rupan? Seems like it. Yeah, it seems like Rupan. <clears> Haha, <throat> it's <laughs> ninja. Yep, that is Rupan. I, I recognize that silhouette. Or maybe not, wait a minute. Um, okay, Zenikata is here, so, is this Rupan? It is Rupan. Oh. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> wow it had a flash bomb inside oh boy look at the amount of police officers <laughs> wow Someone's having a birthday party and there's a chaos. Oh, whoa, what's happening? Okay, things got serious a little bit. Whoa! Um, oh great. Oh yeah. Wow, yeah, they really are like ninjas. Oh, this is spider. Wait, why did she not kill him? She could have easily done so, but she stopped. Does Zupan know her? <laughs> They're like, oh my god. Okay. Ooh. Damn, they have silences and everything. Oh, whoa, 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 this guy. He 
Oh my god, this guy's huge. Ah! Okay, so that's why I guess they call... Like, the name is the Island of Assassins. These guys are assassins, I'm guessing? Oops. Yeah. Um. Oh no 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 duck. Oh wait, he shot. The shot Zenigata, not Ruban. I thought. Oh no, he got shot in his torso. Oh no, wait, you also got, no, this is this like a flashback? I think so. Wait, so the same person shot Rupan as well before. But why did that person shoot Zenigata now? In the memory of Walter, oh. P38, I understand the name of the title now. Why is it called that? Oh no, people will think that he killed Zenigata. Oh god. Oh boy. Oh. Oh. Oh boy. Wow, they have a... Oh! Oh! oh. Jump! Oh, or maybe not, okay. Damn, these... Nah, great. Smoke grenades now. Oh! 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 oh. My god. Oh my god, he... Nah, it's too far. If Jigen was there, he could have probably shot, you know? But this is Rupan, so... Obviously, he, he does not have that talent to actually... Jigen would have been able to get it, I guess. Okay, there you go, there is Jigen. Tarantula, okay. That's why the spider, alright. Okay. <laughs> he died while, what? Okay. Yeah, why call Lupan and Zenigata first, then? Oh.
Oh no. Wait, 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 wait. Is this like, oh my god. This is like a satellite. Oh. Wow, this is some high level traps. What the hell? Like, I thought that there would be some kind of mine or something, but they're just shooting from the satellite. Geosynchronous. Oh, wow. God. Okay. Hmm. Officially recognized. Hmm. Damn. Looks uh, looking like some kind of demon lord's lair. <laughs> Oops, there they are. <gasps> what the? Ah! God. Yep, they know. Someone had infiltrated. What happened to Zenigata? I'm sure he's fine. There you go. Uh, there you go. What? Um. Like someone tell Lupans that Lupan has been caught or something. I'm sure he'll just jump up. Yes. He'll just jump up now. <laughs> well, I knew it. Uh. <laughs> oh, he's out of juice. <laughs> wow, <laughs> he's normal now. <laughs> I knew they were going to do that, you know, like bring up Rupan's name and he'll just jump up. <laughs> Oh, the, okay. Oh, so this has. Oh, okay. This is this has some kind of backstory. All right, interesting. Yeah. What? Ah! <laughs> Ooh, nice. Well, gun is faster than knives, you know. Yeah. Wait. Maybe he doesn't know. What? Yeah. Oh. Damn. Wow, there you go, a minigun. Run. 
Oh! Oh no! Oh! Nice! Damn it, they're glowing! <laughs> wow! Everything that Rupans does has like a hidden mechanism or something. Like even the dummy had a use. Oh. Oh, damn. That must have hurt. Yeah. Oh, this girl. We saw her before. Does he know her? Like he kind of... Um, whoa. <laughs> yeah, he she wasn't able to kill before. We saw that. Oh. Yeah, I don't think... Oops! Oh... Oh boy. Ah, I don't think so. Hmm. Damn, this guy can... It's very agile. <laughs> oh boy. Catch him alive. Oh, maybe this guy actually, maybe this, I'm guessing this is the boss or something? Yeah, he knows him. Wow, he has a tattoo on his head. My God, the the dispatch of a full bet, bet, bet <laughs> a full army. Why? Ah. Uh. Damn, like a lot of cool knights. What the? Who's this? Oh my God! What is she doing here? This girl. Uh Oops hm. uh, Random licking the knife Okay, what is her plan now? Why? What is she trying to find now? I doubt these people have any treasures or something, so... Wait, Goemon is also here? Um... Wait, what's happening? Like... Es Rupan.
Wait, she has blonde hair? Ah! She's been poisoned. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, so that's what she's... Okay. <laughs> okay, so every, every, everything's linked. They're kind of working together. I was thinking like... Alright, there you go. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Crying. <laughs> poor, poor boy, man. Oh, okay, alright. <laughs> oh <laughs> yes let's go catch Rupan <laughs> nah nah but everyone thinks it is uh Oh boy, yeah, same gun. Same. <laughs> oh my god, wow. Yeah. But I'm sure he'll, f he'll sneak out or something. <laughs> Who the? Vicky. Tender food. <laughs> oh boy. Ah. Oh my God. Three more weeks in hospital. <laughs> Okay. Alex. Hmm. Which? Okay, I thought she knows him. Damn. Oh! Well, that was slick. What? Oh. I don't think they... Oh, no, no, oh my god. Yeah, they don't actually... What? The guy in the picture, he kind of looked like that uh, guy with Zenigata, you know? The Zenigata's new partner. Why? What the? 
Oh yeah, here he is. The boss. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Seven. Hmm. Wait, what's what are they doing? What? Oh. Wait, is this like some kind of a Oh. So I'm guessing this is some kind of, yeah, some kind of a thing that restrains them or something. I don't know what actually it is. Yeah, there you go. Poison. Oh, that's why the mask when it, oh, when it took out the mask, he died. Oh. Wow. Damn, this is a very uh, elaborate. Oh, okay. That's what happened when they took off the mask. Uh, is there any, I don't think there's any way of taking out the, taking out the tattoo unless and until you chop off your hand or something. Buddy. Why? Oh, okay. Wait, what? Huh. It's quite confident. What? Oh. <laughs> yeah. Huh. <laughs> Good guess. Oh. oh all right, okay. Hmm. Oh, that's why, yeah, they have nowhere to go and. Yeah. But why did she? Yeah, by, why did she? 
Fujiko. <laughs> Nuclear reactor. Oh. Huh. Oh, wait, what? Was he like trying to run away or something? Ooh! He has a tattoo, we can see that. So... Oh! Oh no. Wow! Oh my god! Hmm, okay. Oh great, this guy's been cocky again. <sighs> okay. My god. Oh! Oh no! Oh, nice! There you go! Oh, great! Wow! <laughs> Clown! Oh no! Yeah, this is... Yeah, that was needed. Otherwise, these people would have just... Oh, God. All right, I wonder who who shot this. I don't think it's the boss. Neither I I think this is neither the the white-haired guy. So who is this? <laughs> yeah. Who knows? Maybe the doctor is the one who shot him. <laughs> yeah, obviously he she did it to Okay, wait, what? Huh. Oh boy, as soon as... <laughs> yeah, okay. Oops. Yeah. Oh, it's... there you go, nice. Wait, what? Oh, he's... Yeah, they have, they have some other plans. Western end. Oh, yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of people. 
Oh. But the poison, what's going to... Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, true. Okay. Antidote. There you go. All right. Undiluted sample. Yeah, what's their plan? Yeah. Um, what? Nah, we don't have a choice then. <laughs> what? Oh, okay. Okay, okay. That's a trick. I doubt he believed it, but... Huh. Damn, like the cameras all over the place. Oh no. Wait, what? Oh, these are the other people from other countries, I guess. The next target. Huh. All right. Oh. No oh boy. All right, I guess. What? Oh, great. God oh, damn this guy. Yeah, all right. Woo. Damn. Oh, the cup of... Oops! <laughs> mm. 
Yeah, there you go. Asleep. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, where is it? Nice. Oh, I'm guessing it has something to do with uh, spiders, yeah. Oh, so they don't know. Yeah, there's no antidote up until now, but the doctor can do something. Now that we have the ingredient list. <clears throat> hmm. Oh, that was Rupan. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. Ah. Huh. <clears throat> oh, they're on top. Wow, look at that. There you go. Now we have even have the location of the gold bars. <laughs> Damn. Okay. I hope Fujiko doesn't do anything other than the plan. Like she has this whole thing of like, you know, she gets crazy whenever she says gold and money. And treasure. <laughs> Not the. <laughs> this guy. This guy looks like that guy. The, that the girl has a photo of. Or am, am I wrong? Wow. Oh no, he's again going to fall. Wow. Okay. Three more weeks. <laughs> the second leg goes as well. <laughs> oh my god, now he's really stuck at the hospital. Oh boy. <coughs> Huh. All right. Oh, oh boy, who will be the guinea pig? Okay.
All right. Okay. All right. No, 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 no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> okay, and <sighs> All right, and then they'll run. Hmm, all right. Yeah, and the antidote will be ready by that time. Okay. Whoa, what's happening? Oh, it's going my way. Nice. There you go. All right. It worked. All right, nice. Okay, I hope there's no side effects, you know. Hmm. Oh, Alex. Yeah. The oh, it's a younger brother. Hmm. Overexerted. Wow. Okay, I was wrong. I thought that guy kind of looked like the one with Zenigata. Kind of looked like the Alex photo that she had. Now that I'm, uh, yeah, I'm wrong. Kind of looks like him, but definitely not him. Uh, yeah. It's, when the hell did he come in? Hmm. Oh, that's why. Wow, my God, that's messed up. Except her brother. <laughs> Especially Fujiko. <laughs> yeah, the whole thing with the gun, he has some kind of a history with these people. Yeah. 
There you go. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh no, what happened? Okay, there he is. Oh no. Oh no. Uh. Oh great. Yes. <laughs> oh my god <laughs> oh damn yeah there you go it's tracking <sighs> there you go Yeah, my god. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Hope everything goes well over here. Like, you know. What? Yes. Let's go. Yes. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. I thought there was a bomb or something. <laughs> okay. There we have it. Okay. Hopefully it works. I'm kind of getting a bad feeling that, you know, the antidote won't work or something. <laughs> License. Okay, it's going away. Okay, there you go, it worked. So you can open the mask now, I guess? 
Yeah. What about Rupan? Hmm. <laughs> yeah. True. In a way, that is also something that actually restrains you, you know, for freedom. You're doing something for freedom, but you're not free in that sense, that means. <laughs> That's what she, he's saying. Like, he actually, like, Rupan actually wants that. Like, otherwise, you won't be able to, yeah, you won't be able to be free in true sense. It always drag you down. Damn, yeah, that really is, uh, wow, they, <laughs> they did prepare very, you know, expensive and high-tech stuff for them. <laughs> Metal leg operation. Ah! <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is a good song. What the? What's that? Wait, 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 wait. Is the... Is the plane going... <laughs> so nice of him to you know just hop in and just you know visit him in Zenigata's <laughs> Zenigata's tough times okay he all right there's something some kind of clue I'm guessing uh, for the oh um clue of of the island you know where I think so the pathway where you won't get shot I'm guessing it's something like that or something nice there you go All right. Let's take everything. Oh my God, it's like using mirrors and everything. All right.
<laughs> I'm just gonna pot. Okay, everything's going really well, which is kind of unnerving in a way. You know, I feel like something's going to happen. Oh no. Oh! Yes! Nice, there you go. <laughs> yeah. Alright, okay, everything is set. Okay. And here we go. <laughs> wow. Whack. Oh. oh. Oh no, the necklace. Yeah, uh, just knock him out. Just knock him out. Don't leave him alone. Oh no. Don't! Don't put... Why? Why is he turn she turning her back? Oh my god, this girl. Oh no! No, 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 no. Your head. <laughs> That's gonna be broken soon. <laughs> Alright. Oh no, 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 no. Yep, he got, she got hurt. Oh. I don't, like... Why did she turn her back towards a guy who is not unconscious? My god. Ugh. Okay. There's a lot of them. <laughs> I like how they're taking the- oh my- uh. Uh -huh. Oh no, she, she is go trying, going to try kill herself. Okay. Uh. Hmm. Oh. Oh. Oh! <laughs> Run! Yeah! Oh! There you go! <sighs> oh! 
Nice. Using the environment to your advantage, you know? <laughs> yeah. Alright. Okay. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. Oh, okay. The thing that he sent to Zenigata. It is most probably the location of the island because now that this thing is disabled. Oh, oh no. I thought they'll be able to go inside. Oh no, one hour. No, no, no. Oh no! Oh my god, this is everything's going to go wrong now. They have a one hour time lag. Oh my god. Oh, they need to hold on for one hour. And though they won't even know, they'll try to get out now. My god. <sighs> Wait a minute. Oh no, wait, what's happening? Is this... Yeah. Wow, but how are they going to get it? Oh no, they don't know. Oh, the guy. Yeah, okay. They'll be preoccupied here for a few minutes here. So that will work in our favor. Oh no, someone betrayed them. Nah, they're too far gone. Oh no. No, 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 oh my god, they are... Oh god, this guy has a minigun. Oh my god. Yeah, as I said, he's far gone. <laughs> In a way, he's correct. Oh no. Oh! Oh! Damn, this guy is a problem. Oh! God damn. Ooh, nice! Yes, there you go! Oh! Oh my god, yeah. Oh no! Oh no, he's going to blow himself up! Oh no! Yeah, this guy's a problem. 
Oh boy. Oh yeah. Oh. Wait a minute. Was I correct? Was the doctor really? Oh no. Wait, 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 wait. That doesn't make sense. Unless and until the doctor really is need the mask. Is okay, there you go. Either the doctor betrayed them or the doctor did not know and something got altered. Okay. Oh. Ha! God. <laughs> wow. This has been a whole setup. This is a whole setup. So, is the doctor really the betray? Oh no! Eee! Wait, everyone's going to die! Like what? Even Gordo is inside there, isn't he? Okay, I doubt the satellite will be able to catch the airplane. Y yes, it's fast. I doubt it will be able to... Or maybe... Oh, no. Yeah, it is fast. Oh, my God. Ooh. Yeah. Oh my god. They're not even showing Gordo and the doctor. I am feeling that the doctor really did betray them. Maybe I'm wrong. Let's see. Wait, wait, wait. Is this Gordo? Wait, he doesn't even know. Oh my god, I'm my suspicions are kind of coming true. I think it is a doctor. They're not showing us the face. I'm sure they'll do that. Great. Great, random. 
red button which has a one hour timer <laughs> we know what's going to happen You know, you know what I was, I was actually joking when I said in the beginning, like the doctor, maybe the doctor had the, this is a doctor, isn't it? I was just joking when I said that maybe the doctor is the one who has, who has a gun and but I kind of felt a little bit because you know they, they kind of suddenly introduced a random doctor who looks so good from the outside. <laughs> okay, I'm sure something is going on. Let's see. Oh no, oh no maybe the doctor will double betray. <laughs> wow. Yeah, this is like, <coughs> wow. There you go. Oh, yeah, there you go. Yeah. Oh no. Ooh, wow. Yeah. Ruben. <sighs> wow <laughs> I can't believe it was really the doctor did Rupan realize that it was him from the beginning Oh, okay, okay. And he betrayed him. Wow. Yeah, and he stole his gun. Great. Oh my god, yeah. Yeah, oh boy. He he realized it from the beginning. There you go. <laughs> He's getting scared. Yeah. 
Whoa, what the? How the hell did he dodge that? Ah. Uh. What? Yeah. Okay, there he is. Oh. <laughs> okay, oh my god. I don't know how he was able to do it, but he did it. <laughs> Jump! Yes! There you go. Oh! <laughs> Up! Knife fight! Oh, 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 my God. Yes. Oh, oh. My God, they're reflecting the lasers of the <laughs> wow. Oh, Ugh. oh. Okay. Thirty minutes left. We have quite a bit of time. Hopefully. Great. Oh no, the poison. Oh. Yeah. Oh. No, no. Okay, come on. No. Oh my God. What the? Just shoot him. Zigan uh, going on. There you go. Oh my god. Yeah, it'll blow up. Oh. 
okay he'll he'll be so fast that both will be cut at the same time and that's why it won't blow up oh maybe not Shot him in the head. Ah, oh, there you go. Huh. Go to hell with your gold. <clears throat> uh, well, oh no. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. What will I oh great. I I don't think he should not survive. Yeah. <sighs> the whole setup of this Yeah, she... Oh, great. <laughs> God damn this guy is You're fired <laughs> Oh boy great Yeah. <laughs> God, wow. Ah. <sighs> Damn.
I'm guessing that uh, bird is like a indication of I'm guessing her soul. You know, like how it's flying away, freedom, like bird like birds are like the ultimate what can i say um in a way it's a symbol of freedom you know like they can fly <sighs> yeah we got uh lupans <sighs> yeah it is a symbolism of oh he throws it away In a way, that gun is kind of a representation of like, you know, the chains or the shackles that held Rupan down, you know, because I don't know, like, that's why I'm guessing she threw it away in the end. I know, this is just my interpretation. Like, in a way, it kind of shackled him. And he came back to actually settle the score, which is kind of a shackle, which, you know, but now I'm guessing he's free in that sense. I don't know, this is just how, like, you know, I saw it. Like, yeah, that's the end. Wow, okay, that was, that was really good. Um, yeah, this is definitely one of the top, like, you know, top uh, episode or TV special of Rupan. And... Wow, there's a lot of things. Okay, the first thing that I want to talk about is the doctor. Now, you know what? Um, <laughs> the, when they introduced the doctor, I was like, oh, maybe this guy is the one who, <laughs> like, you know, who, who shot him. Now, the reason why I said that is, first of all, I was joking. <laughs> Number two is there was a little part of me that kind of thought the doctor maybe was the real like you know antagonist because number one um the main guy the the gordo i think that was his name obviously he is definitely not that person uh you know who had the like you know gun and other than him the main the characters who had the spotlight the antagonistic characters who had the spotlight on them was that white-haired guy like you know that long white-haired guy he was so cocky and so like you know uh, impatient that I doubt it was him, you know, like I knew that it was not him because the one who shot Rupan had to be someone who was calm, intelligent and patient, unlike that guy. Otherwise, it's very difficult to actually pull one over Rupan and this guy was able to shoot Rupan, trick him somehow. So definitely it was not the long haired guy, neither Gordo. So other than those two, the main characters who had the spotlight on them where uh, the girl what was her name uh oh, i forgot her name just a sec ellen uh ellen and uh the doctor these two were the other main characters the antagonistic characters so obviously it's not ellen you know ellen is out of the list so what's left is the doctor and the doctor kind of you know had that type of a uh, bad guy vibe you know because <laughs> He had the face of a very nice type of a guy, a very nice guy face, you know. He was wearing those uh, round glasses, which is another, I don't know why, like another thing that kind of <laughs> is, you kind know, of makes you feel that, yeah, he has something that he's hiding, you know. And uh, like, and he, he looks very calm and collected. That's why, like, you know, because of that, 
I kind of like I myself was not serious. I was just joking. I was like, Haha, this guy, maybe he's the main main villain who had the gun. And I myself was, did not believe that. I was like, you know, kind of I had a feeling, but obviously I was like, you know, like I I did not think he was the actual guy. I, like it was a mixture of like, you know, me joking and then at the same time, like, you know, because he kind of fit the guy who killed Rupan, uh, not kids, shot Rupan. I joked and said that, ah, this guy is the main villain. And after that, like, you know, when as the time went on, as we saw him actually helping, uh, you know, our main ca cast, the suspicion kind of went away. But there were still some times that I was actually suspicious of him, if you remember, while reacting. There was a time when I said, maybe the antidote won't work because I had a nagging suspicion on him you know i thought that maybe the antidote won't work when and also at that time when he was a bit late you know in going and giving the antidote you know Ru rupan and Aaron was actually waiting uh you know in front in front of the uh, ship and he was late at that time i was also thought that okay maybe this guy is actually going to betray us now but then he came and gave us the antidote and i was like okay maybe i am a bit too paranoid maybe that guy really is a good guy and then again there was this one scene where <laughs> Oh, another thing that kind of another thing that kind of um, made me think that he's the main bad villain is because he volunteered to be the guinea pig. That's another like you know thing. <laughs> like he seemed a bit too good to be true. So <laughs> and then you know then again when like you know when they were going out and then they like you know Rupan and Eren kind of injected the antidote. I, I thought that okay like and again again at that, that time I also kind of said that maybe like something will go wrong and the antidote won't work. All of this were because I was still a little bit suspicious because but after everything happened after the like you know tattoo really went away and everything, I was like okay yeah maybe I am wrong maybe maybe I'm I'm being a little bit too paranoid that guy is a good guy, so I I thought that yeah like I was being a bit too paranoid. Then we see that scene where <laughs> Gordo comes and um, like, you know, like, like, comes crashing in and like, you know, points the gun at the doctor when they were fighting, you know, in the middle of that, the whole thing. And then I started getting the nagging suspicion again that the doctor is probably uh, like, you know, behind everything. Because first of all, uh, there were a thing, few things again, which kind of... Um, pointed towards him number one uh, the antidote started working weirdly it started like you know coming back again you know like the tattoo that's one of the biggest thing that actually gives away that he's the actual villain another thing because you know like the doctor was the one who made the antidote so there was something wrong with the antidote that's number one another thing is the program the the satellite program it it started as a delayed uh, you know, like, you know, it had a delayed uh, timer. Now, who was the person who had access to that program except the brother? It was him. So, yeah, again, that also pointed towards him. So, <laughs> you know, like, again, I started getting the suspicion that he was the main bad guy. And by the end of it, I was like, we saw that he was the one. And like, I knew that this guy is too crafty and too cocky not cocky he was not cocky he was smart and like you know like calm collected he was too uh, what can i say too much of a bad guy you know to let gordo you know get away with everything so i knew they were somehow going to betray each other and gordo took the first step he was like ha i'm going to kill you look at this i'm backstabbing you ha ha and then <laughs> Uh, the doctor was like, huh, I already saw that coming. <laughs> I had a backup plan of your betrayal. So, like, all according to Keikaku, I guess. So, yeah, like, <laughs> then he actually, like, like, you know, like shows that how he tricked Gordo as well. There was something in the blood, and I'm guessing some kind of poison, and Gordo died. So, yeah, like, these all things was, like, something, and... I had a nagging suspicion, but I really did not believe it was him. But turns out that it was him. So yeah, <laughs> that was something. My God. All right. So this uh, this episode, this TV special, um, it was fantastic. I loved it really. 
it it had quite a lot of things and uh, i can kind of like you know see that this is a little bit in a way um a bit more serious than all the other lupin movies you know uh, it it has its occasional goofy like you know sections comedic sections but it's a lot less than all the other you know like um, what do you call it all the other uh, episodes or uh, movies so yeah it was it was a lot more serious and so this is interesting to see like you know like and this 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 was very um what can i say like this had a real feeling of like someone can die anytime like I'm not saying that uh, the, all, all the other Rupan movies doesn't have that. All the Rupan movies have that. But as I said, like all the other Rupan movies and the TV specials that I've seen, even though it has that constant sense, like, you know, a thing of like, you're going to die, it still has a bit of a goofy side. And, like, you know, like the whole death thing is kind of like a very lighthearted thing in a rupan all these all the other movies that i've seen and everything but this movie kind of really like you know like has very less amount of that like it really feels people are going to die here and someone actually did die now the girl ellen um she had the whole what can i say like her characteristic and everything like as soon as i like you know started getting to know her better I knew she was going to die because she is like a what can i say a perfect character just put in into the uh, movie and for like you know like you know like she had a tragic past she had like you know like she had this kind of a like desperate thing going on for her you know she also said something like I'll, i'd rather die than like you know give away my freedom all these things and uh, like the way everything was going i knew she was going to die that's why i was not that much surprised because she she felt like a character who was like you know who was perfect for uh, it feels actually really wrong to say that but who was perfect for some like you know like like a, a scapegoat character like, you know by the end she's going to die it, it really feels like it felt like it and I don't know another reason why i thought she was going to die was what can i say um it felt that rupan really got emotionally attached to her and that's like one of the biggest reason i thought that she was going to die you know why because i know that these special tv specials and these uh movies are kind of standalone episodes they're not canonical part of the main show so whenever there is a character who is going to get close to Rupan emotionally or who will be like, you know, uh, like emotionally, like whom Rupan will be emotionally affected with, chances are they are going to either die or we won't get to see them again. Because this is like a standalone episode or a standalone movie. So if that person stays alive, they'll have to include her, him or her, in the main show which i doubt they'll do you know th that's what i'm saying so that's why like you know as, as soon as i saw that she and like rupan was also getting emotionally attached to each other i knew she was she was going to die by the end of it yeah that's what happened and that's why i was really not surprised that much when they like you know killed her like i like you know like as soon as she got that wound and as soon as i saw that yeah like i i realized that there's no way they'll keep her alive you know yeah this she's going to die so that was not much of a surprise i kind of anticipated that from kind of from the beginning because she she is like a character like that and she she's an actual good character and chance like you know as we see good characters don't survive by the end of it i think uh there's another like you know um, rupan dead or alive you know in rupan dead or alive as well like you know the main the main girl kind of kind of a little bit got emotionally attached to rupan but she did not die in a way 
but she she we won't get to see her again that that was just that but here like i felt Ru rupan also kind of got emotionally attached to her that's why like you know like i don't know like it might be just me but i kind of feel as if like whoever especially in these type of movies and these type of tv specials whoever is going to get emotionally attached to rupan or vice versa uh, somehow either they're going to die or either they they won't like you know they they they'll go away somewhere they'll go missing or something like something is going to happen to them and we won't get to see them again so yeah it might be just me but it's just how i see this if this was the actual anime you know like i wouldn't think like that because the actual anime is like a canonical thing that's going on you know so if this was part of the anime yeah i would be like yeah he could be still alive there's chances of a survival but no that actually won't happen here sad because she she had like you know she she was a genuinely good type of a person and yeah like like i liked him quite a bit uh, liked her quite a bit but sad and okay another thing uh, there's a little bit of rupa's past that was actually shown here the whole thing with the walter and that's why the name you know like walter uh what was the name of the uh just a sec walter p38 yeah uh so now i'm i don't know if this is like a canonical thing but i doubt it is i think this is like some kind of a thing that they actually showed us in this tv special and this is just a part of rupa's past you know like just like how Rupan kind of said that yeah like this is there's this one time only who I joined up with someone and that someone was you and you were the one who betrayed me and you know that's why my Walter you, you have it now and all that stuff so I'm guessing this is like a small little information of Rupan's past which they kind of introduced us to in this TV special so yeah okay what else as for the characters um uh the main focus in this uh you know in this movie was obviously on rupan and ellen and i think um, fujiko had quite a less amount of you know importance here like i don't know like i like i feel like she had comparing her to the other movies she had a less amount of screen time here she and goemon as well jigen had a little bit of like you know things we got you know, a little bit more of his screen time but zenigata had quite a bit of screen time here like he was kind of like the uh what can i say he he, he had quite a bit of like stuff and he was a bit important here other than that all the main characters obviously all the main casts were here with us and yeah it's just that rupan and eren had a bit like you know the focus was on them okay uh and again like by the end of it everything kind of goes back to the neutral stance you know like neither like they they're able to get out of that situation but they're like you know like uh, Fujiko and their target was like getting the gold out. Obviously, Rupan did not have that target. I I think this is like this is like the first time most probably Rupan was actually not like you know like the target for Rupan was actually not the gold or the treasure, but it was actually uh, like you know his past which he had to settle, and that's what he did by the end of it. And the whole thing of like you know like the freedom thing that they were talking about here was quite interesting as Eren you know like as Eren said that uh, like you know I'm going to be free from here but Rupan said that like you know like you won't be free unless and until you confront your past and I think at that time Eren kind of realized that unless and until I get this thing out of my way I really won't be able to get free because they might be able to get out of this situation for now but his her past will come back to her someday 
and it'll haunt her all day and in that way in that genuine sense she won't be free because there'll be this nagging thing in within her mind even if she goes like you know like changes country goes somewhere else takes a disguise takes a new identity you know takes becomes like a completely different person she will still have that thing in her mind going on that yeah i'm not free who knows maybe tomorrow these people will come looking for me in that sense she's not free she is still shackled that's why as like you know rupan said like for him he wanted to be free in the in, in a real sense and he wanted to confront his past the whole thing with the walter and that's why he his main target was actually going back and confronting them and even though like you know eren died in that process i don't know i think it's like actually what can i say like living with the constant fear of like the unknown i think that would have been a worse future for her like for her who a person like her who is who actually wants freedom she wouldn't she won't be able to get that that's why by the end of it she also decided to go back and confront her past i guess but unfortunately it did not work out properly and she lost her life and like and in the end we kind of see that bird like you know the whole thing in this written in the uh, in the necklace that like you know like to my sister like you know who looks at the sky or something like that like you know at the birds what did what was written there i forgot i can't even find it but it was something like that and like you know the bird which indicated freedom you know because they have wings they can fly away As, like i think like birds are like the most common uh thing or personification of freedom so whenever like there's something related to freedom a bird is shown so in the end in the ending scene when we see like you know rupan kind of standing and then the bird kind of going around i think it kind of like represented i, I guess ellen's soul or something it was flying around and then rupan you know like had the gun with him had the walter with him the one that he lost and he actually throws it away in a way i think to actually sever the, his connection with the past because the water is kind of like a thing that connects him to the past and he wants to be free from it that's why she throws it away into the ocean uh, i don't know, in hopes of actually severing the past and becoming free in tr the truest sense because that water in a way and the, all the things that happened was kind of the shackle that was binding him you know to his past and he was not free in that sense so i'm guessing by throwing it away he like you know probably severed his connection to the past and became a little bit more free so you know like it's kind of fun to think about it because uh we are free you know everyone like you know like most of us are free we have freedom we can do whatever we want to but there are also a lot of things that we need to do we have duties and we should do that to keep being free you know like we have like we can't do anything like, you know like we we cannot just do and because we are free like we will we punch someone or we badmouth someone or we do some kind of like you know crime that's not good like that's not okay at all so in a way even though we are free to be free we need to be shackled to something which is kind of like the ironical like you know <laughs> ironical thing like to be free you need to be shackled down otherwise you can't remain free i don't know what i'm saying but it's that's basically it so in truer sense no one is free you know like no one is free at all i feel like i'm like you know i'm talking about attack on titan or something like the whole freedom thing is <laughs> something that's like the whole attack on titan thing but you know like it's kind of interesting to think about it in a way like in truer sense no one is free it's it's just like you know like a thing that we feel and if we feel that we are free we are free that's basically it like what we think i think that i'm free so yeah i'm free but someone else might think that they are not free so yeah i guess they're shackled i guess to their own ideals or to their own thought process so in a way that's also some kind of a shackle that binds him and does not let him be free i don't know what i'm saying but yeah anyways i'll stop <laughs> god
Okay. What else? Hmm, let's see. Okay, at the beginning that the whole thing with Zenigata kind of like freaked me out a little bit, but I knew he obviously he won't die You know because Zenigata like we know like he won't die So that's why like you know like that was like a like I knew he was going to be like you know okay somehow and Yeah, as soon as we saw him like you know in, in like a in a critical situation <laughs> Like that was completely <laughs> Like that, that, like I knew what was going to happen. Like they were saying that, oh, Zenigata, he's he won't be able to survive, and like everyone's crying and everything. And I was like, you know what? Just just say Rupan in front of his ears, and he'll jump up, and he'll be like, Rupan, where is he? I'm I'm going to arrest him. <laughs> and yeah, that's what happened. The the guy suddenly, like you know, mentioned Rupan, and he bolted out of his bed and started stretching the doctor's cheeks. <laughs> Trying to find out whether like that's Rupan in disguise or not, what not. So <laughs> yeah, and then obviously we meet Ellen and all of that, like, and we get to the island, all that thing, the whole thing with, hmm, what's it called? The whole thing with the organization. Now here's the thing, one thing that kind of makes sense in a way is that so the doctor was actually conspiring with gordo so that means gordo knew everything like there's one thing that actually really bugged me and uh, that was that everything was happening too smoothly i think i also myself said something like that i was i was saying something like like everything is going too smoothly like wouldn't there be some kind of a problem by the middle of it but everything was going so smoothly that's because gordo was into it he knew everything and Gordo and the doctor was part of the plan so as far as I could understand Gordo and the doctor's plan was to use Rupan you know it was to use Rupan to kind of do these type of tough things these tough jobs and by the end of it they would take the gold like sever all ties with the other countries by like you know making it feel as if Gordo died and like you know like and they would like you know blow the, up the whole island that's what the, their plan was and that's how they would fake their death and get out of there be free from everything and enjoy the like you know like the all the gold they'll have all the gold within them and i'm guessing they kind of plan to actually um divide it within themselves but obviously both of them kind of thought that huh yeah i'm saying i'm gonna divide it but will i divide it really nah whenever everything will go all smooth by the end uh gordo thought that yeah i'm going to kill him and um the guy the doctor thought that i know god is going to kill me so i'm going to <laughs> use my uno reverse card on him and i'm going to anticipate him and kill him before that i guess the doctor was a bit you know like like saw or anticipated what he was going to do that's why he won by the end of it because i think gordo did not think that he would betray him because he thought that he would betray him first but doctor knew that gordo would think that he would betray him first so the doctor thought that before gordo, gordo betrays me first i'm going to betray him before that <laughs> if that makes any sense <laughs> so yeah that's what happened like all like you know betray like i'm going to betray you no i'm going to betray you before that so that's what basically happened and yeah like uh so that was their actual plan like they had a quite a bit and i guess like that's why also uh the in the big in, in in the in the beginning of the episode we see like there's a letter you know so i'm guessing that was all part of the plan like i think the doctor actually planted the letter or something and like you know they you know the doctor and the god of plan planned to actually plant the letter so that they can like you know put the blame on rupan and like you know and i'm, I'm guessing he also used the walter to shoot zenigata you know and did not shoot rupan at that time because he needed rupan to take the blame and also come to the island following them because he knew that rupan would follow him because of his past with the walter so he shot zenigata showed the gun to him in a very like you know obvious way and like you know kind of went away 
planted the letter now everybody thinks that rupan is the culprit so the heat of their back is gone you know people won't actually try to find them uh the group and people will actually try to like you know find rupan uh, zenigata is almost dying you know and so he won't be able to act as a witness and rupan will come following them you know like all was part of the plan i guess lupan does the same thing that the way they, they planned it lupan did that lupan followed them and then started their next phase of the plan where they would like you know kind of act like they're including lupan into their team would give lupan some mission and they would like you know they would know that uh, lupan is going to try to betray them because the doctor would incite that you know like the doctor would act as like a double agent and he would trick everyone into thinking that yeah we're getting out so they would act under that illusion they would do the work for them you know and the doctor would by the end of it backstab them by that fake antidote and everything and then when they come back uh, you know like uh, godo will fake his death show in front of the all the countries that yeah i'm dead and the all the like you know the, the main people that the people were sitting you know they will bomb the island they would completely fake that that everyone think that will think that they died whereas gordo and the doctor will get away with the money and obviously the doctor and gordo had plans of backstabbing each other as well so that was like the full plan like that's like a very elaborate plan that they made and yeah there's, there's a lot of things that was going on at the background and i i'm sure rupan was uh, like you know like rupan himself like was able to realize that that was the doc the doctor was the main thing because from mm. a time in the cave when the doctor killed that spider you know like he said that the bloodlust is still the same so i was able to recognize you so yeah that's why everything went so well i was wondering like why is everything going so well because they were into like you know they knew what was happening godo allowed it to happen because he had this master plan god wow that was really great a really like solid story that they you know told us and obviously by the end of it as i said i was able to realize that the girl is going to die somehow and yeah the girl died ellen died trying to save rupan and you know in the end she says that the small amount of time that's you know i finally felt free thank you for that and she got his free her freedom and rupan also in a way got his freedom back as well the whole thing with the walter is done it's over so yeah it won't shackle him to his past again and he also threw it away so damn that that was a really great uh, tv special it had a lot of things a lot of like things going on in the background you know and yeah that was fantastic so that's it guys so okay so before i like just a sec i'm going to like in the next week i'm going to react to a movie uh you know as i said i'll do alternative one day movie one day tv special so the next week i'm going to react to rupan the third Jigen's gravestone or Jigen Daisuke no Bohyo. So this is what I'm going to react to. So I think this is like quite a recent one, 2014. Oh, okay, it's very recent. So yeah, I'm looking forward to that. So next week, Rupan the Third Jigen's gravestone. I'm going to react to that. So that's it, guys. So thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed. And comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know i'll check them out so that's it so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys next week with another rupan movie reaction so until then goodbye and have a nice day